You're the new kid, right? Uh, you're a little bit young. Usually people end up here after being a male stripper or their failed athletes. Which one are you? The name is Sean, and I am neither. Hey man, I'm sorry. Just a little bit antsy for this next match. Well, I hear this vain guy is looking for blood tonight. Better watch yourself. Hey kid, maybe you owe me go get drinks after this? First round's on me. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the VWF Virtual Wrestling Federation here live on Twitch television. I am your host as well, Anthony Sonnen with my commentary partner in crime. Midnight Mike Malone, Anthony Sonnen, what kind of name is that Sonnen? You like playing the sun all day or what? Hey, there's no problem being the suntan Superman, that's what I like to do, that's how I go with it. And at any point, we just wanted to definitely let everybody know what's going on in the VWF. Definitely check us out on Facebook, Virtual Wrestling Federation. Check us out on Twitch, VWF Fed, as well as making sure that you guys check out the website at thevwf.com. Bring in all the best action, bring in all the best web series. The first ever edited, fully shot in 1080 HDI resolution available on Twitch TV every week. I'm excited. Excitement personified. Let's get this party started. I don't want Definitely. We definitely just saw earlier tonight, we saw Sean Lockhart and John Doe backstage. I mean, Sean Lockhart, we, we don't know anything about him. We don't know anything about these guys on the roster. We're providing a complete, full-out, full-throttle wrestling show. And what are we going to be expecting here tonight? I don't know. That it's going to be unpredictable, I can just tell you that. Excitement personified. I mean, I don't know what to expect. I'm just excited to be here. I mean, look at all these people here. Dude. You can just feel the, the tension in the air. You can cut it with a knife. Your opening contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Boise, Idaho, weighing in at 278 pounds, John Doe. What I'm hearing is a very intimidating individual, to say the least. They call him Vane. Now, no one knows anything else about this character. Yeah, I've seen him walking around the locker room. No one even hangs out by him. He keeps to himself. He's a loner. I mean, I, I'm scared of him. Yeah, but you got to see right here. John Doe doesn't seem like he's intimidated at all in the least coming out here. You see, he's already going out and crazy, and he's been screaming at the fan. Oh, oh whoa, the lights are going out here. Did you turn him off? I didn't do a damn thing. Oh, shit. Oh my god, Vane's right here. Vane, that's gotta be Vane. There's no other person that could be. Oh my god, Chokeslam. Oh, Chokeslam, Chokeslam them out of their boots. Definitely, and he's not done. He's, no. I would call it right there. No, look, and look, he's signing his death warrant right now. Here it goes. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Oh my god, right in the back of the head. And the ref at this point is counting. He's not even attempting to make a cover here. The referee is counting up to three right now. And there is no sign of movement. Is this guy even breathing? I don't think so. It's good night, Irene, for him. He's popping those Zs. Exactly. Vane not taking any step towards him, just stalking down his prayer. If you get, and that's it. That is it. Count out victory by Vane. And the stretcher. The stretcher. They're bringing out the stretcher. I mean, there is no way you can pick him up off the mat. I mean, you might have to get a spatula to even scrape what was left of him off the canvas here. I'm hearing that EMTs are standing by to take Whoa. him. Whoa. Oh, again? Lights are out again. Where, where the heck Vane go? Mystical powers? Is this Vane? I mean, I'm not pulling Oh, my this. God. There he is again. Just beating the crap out of him. This relentless assault just pursuing. And come on. This, this match has already been over. Uh, he's trying to prove a point. He's making a statement. This is the first episode. So you, you got to go out there and you got to make those statements. Well, he's gone again. And now we see this is just the way the match was officially supposed to start. You saw... We had John Doe coming in the ring. He was 100% ready to go. He was ready for this action, but I don't think anyone... Apparently not ready be, enough. Exactly. I mean, I don't think anyone that I can think of would be ready to fight this kind of... Um, is this even a human being? I think he saw a ghost. Yeah, I definitely. I think he saw Choke anything. Slam. I don't think he saw anything at all. Vane coming out behind him, and he delivered that choke slam right on the back of the head. Did you see the way his body contorted? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's convulsing and everything, and not looking too good. Oh my god, and just, what you say, signing his death warrant? Yeah, pretty much. Signed, sealed, and delivered, like I said earlier. Look at Vane right there, showing the people, the people in the locker room what Vane is all about. Exactly, and the referee continued to count, but at this point in the match, he was already just declared the winner. I have every reason to be upset. When I wake up, I expect cold pizza from last night, not a half-boiled egg and some 
whatever the hell else was on my plate. I'm sorry, I'll make you an extra special breakfast tomorrow. Good. I need to be 100% for my matches, and I can't do it without a good breakfast. Now I gotta go shave my chest before my match. I'll see you later. Well, folks, we are back. I mean, I really like the situation. He's, he's, he's got the moves. This contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from the Jersey Shore, weighing 286 pounds. Here is the situation. He wears his sunglasses at night like I do. Whoa. Midnight Mike Malone, baby. <laughs> I can understand that at one point, but you see the way he treats his girl, the way he carries himself. Hey, you look that good. You have that million dollar body. You can do whatever you want. Well, we're trying to turn Ty from what we saw earlier by Vane. We're going to this guy in the situation. He's going to be going against a guy who you talked about a physique. Yeah, now, Bronson. Bronson's the guy who's going to be fighting. Bronson, if you want to talk about physique, former Olympic power weightlifter. Yeah, I mean, if he can lift, a forklift could probably lift the uh, situation here. Bronson's pretty dang close, actually. Exactly, and here comes Bronson. You're already queuing off the music. Bronson making his way out. Look at the size of this guy. An impressive specimen. And his opponent from Sandusky, Ohio, weighing 325 pounds, Bronson. He made it to the Olympics as a weightlifting powerlifter. Now, a lot of people are asking why in the world did he stop competing? Yeah, as you can question. see, his right leg, you can see that brace around it. He had an injury during warm up for his final event in the Olympics, had to withdraw for the USA, and he just found passion in wrestling. Yeah, well, that's necessarily going to be a weakness for, for Bronson right here is that knee. Any competitor that's smart will go after that immediately, and that could be his Akil's heel right, right there. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, maybe the power is going to overwhelm any opponent who tries to shoot for that leg. Because Bronson, as you can see, just look at the strength of this individual. He has definitely had the intensity behind him. And I think situation here, if he is smart, like you said, he's going to go for that leg. And brick house, the definition right there with Bronson. And look at Bronson already. Ooh. Ooh, look at the situation right here, trying to be quick, trying to, oh, look at the clothesline. Impressive, very impressive by situation. And look at the confidence oozing out of situation. And look, he's already taunting like he's already won the match. I mean, you come from New Orleans, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta wreak that confidence. Oh my God, but look at Bronson. And look, Bronson's able to taunt too. Now, at the same time, that's got to get under the skin of the situation. That's got to be a little confidence reliever. I think, I think situation will come, bounce back and look at him already. He's situation back up to his feet here. Very quick-witted situation as I like his, his resilience. And he is definitely relentless with these attacks here. And look at this. Oh, Ooh. right on the top of the head. And look, more taunting. I don't think there's any need for this more taunting here. Hey, you know what? He's got the right to do it. Look at how he's handling Bronson here. He didn't even hook a leg at that point. I think that if anything... And now look at this. Oh, shoulder block. That's one thing you should do, especially with someone like Bronson. Got to hook the leg. Yeah, I mean, but situation. Look at this. More taunting. What is this? Ooh, oh, nice. Elbow drop. Situation lays him out. Was he a gymnast at one time? <laughs> you know, anything could happen here in the VWF. And look at this back suplex delivered. Very expertly applied by the situation. I'll give him credit for that. And now what's this? Punches right to the jaw. Just Joking and driving right there. Joking and driving. Right. And now just drops him back down. And here's the there he hooks the leg finally. Two. Oh. No, sir. No, sir. Only two. Now I got to ask you, partner. If Bronson is being able to look at this, look at this power. Oh, my God. If Bronson's able to deliver this kind of power, what a situation got to do to put a guy like that away? Well, not let him get frequent flyer miles. I'll tell you that right now. The more of that happens, it ain't going to be good. But I tell you what, if Bronson falls, it's going to hurt. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, but they don't fall that often. Exactly. And now look at this. Oh, a nice clothesline delivered there. And now situation going up top again, going to the well a second time. Ooh. I don't think he connected fully with that one. No, he didn't. Little muck tap there. And now look at this situation. Irish whooping him right into the corner here. And it looks like a run out of gas a little bit, Bronson is. But no, he's starting to refuel. Really I tell you what, time is going to be at the essence for the situation. The longer the match goes, the better it favors situation. Exactly, especially if he starts targeting that leg like we alluded to earlier, partner. And now look at this. Delivering elbows right to the side of the body. And now he's, come on, come on. he's doing push-ups on the back of Bronson. I love the cockiness from situation. He's making a statement just like Vane did in our earlier segment of the program. 
Yeah, but at the same time, you didn't see Vayne just going out and taunting up everything, you know what I mean? There was no reason for all this. Hey, this is the first episode. Everyone's got to go out and leave their mark. Yeah, but let's just... All eyes are watching right now. All eyes. Exactly, especially worldwide on Twitch TV. Glad you let us into your homes and your computer screens. If not, you're watching via Xbox One or PS4 or anything, letting us into your television screens. And we are here live to bring you all the action here on Twitch TV every week. Very happy that you guys are able to be here for our premiere episode on May 31st. You're, you are where the action is at, ladies and gentlemen. Where the action is at. And now situation. What is he doing? Now, what kind of name is the situation? Let's go back to that point exactly. I mean, he calls himself the situation. Doesn't even call himself by his full moniker. But I think he's going to be doing some frequent flying as well. Yeah, uh, there goes another thousand miles right there. Southwest is calling. And he looks trying to try to grab the legs there, and Bronson just shameless plug. <laughs> And now look at this, Bronson being thrown back into the ring. Oh, come on, he's raking the uh, eyes I, at this point. I am in surprised at how he is handling Bronson right here. I mean, he's going off these dirty tactics. I mean, he's got to be doing something right. I mean, hey, you know what? Cheat to win. You know, if you don't get caught, it's, it's great. And now goes for a top rope elbow. Here's the count. One, two. two. Oh, two. No, sir. Only two. I think that could have been, I mean, at the same time. But look at this. Wait, what's he doing uh, here? Pump handle slam to his size. Wow, the power. Jeez, just looking at back first. And you can see Bronson just not able to come out. He's the guy. Oh. oh, two, two. Man, I thought that was three. I thought it was three. Oh, nice drop kick. Look at the height on that. Yeah, but I think Bronson's already up and ready to go. Oh, but he brought back down. I thought he was going for a possible neck breaker or something. Oh, my wow. God. The power of Bronson. I talked about it earlier. That was a mood killer right there. Exactly. Just stops the momentum, and the momentum just there shifts. We go. Oh my god, Press look how slam. high he is! Oh. oh, power slam. That has got to be its situation. There is no way he is kicking out of that one. Two. Oh. No, not even two. Was that even two? It might have been two. two. Oh, and another drop kick. Not as high as the last one, but pretty close. What's this situation? He's call he calls his finisher the situation. Oh, surprise oh, there. Nice. Oh my god, what a neck break. Impressive here. here. He's got to cover him. Hook the leg, smart. Two. Oh, two! He kicks out. Bronson kicks out. I think you know what the problem was there. He hooked the good leg. I think if he hooked oh. the bad leg. Oh, my goodness. Look at Bronson. I mean, we talked about the weakness might be the leg. Situation hasn't really alluded to the No, he has not. I don't think he was doing his homework on him. I think that's the, you got to do your homework when you go in the ring with a guy like Bronson. Former power lifter. Come on. Exactly. And now Situation, look at those nice Fist of Fury maneuvers right here. Oh, drops him right down on the head again. And what's this? Ref not being seen. Oh, come on. There Ooh. was no Right in the grapefruits that. there. And the referee apparently just issuing a warning? What is that all about? I don't about? think the referee cares. He just wants to see these guys duke it out. Oh, oh, oh. Would have been ref fatal for the ref there. Using the ref as a shield. Bronson able to put on the brakes. What's this? Oh, come on. Ooh. Atomic drop like right there. Now he's just stomping a mud hole in him. And he's him. targeting the leg as we saw earlier. Yeah, maybe... He Starting to do his homework. Yeah. Your situation is props. He's being smart, but there's no reason for these underhand tactics. You know what? You do what you got to do to win. And here's the count. And, is, oh! No, two again, man. This match is going back and forth here, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, you are where the action is at. You're on Twitch. Exactly. What's this? Oh, come on. That's the third one. There is no call for this. And now he's just taunting like he's done something important. Come on, this is the third low blow that I've been able to count. You can't tell me that you're I wasn't away. keeping track. <laughs> there is no way you weren't keeping track. Oh, come on. Jeez, there we go, Bronson. Now, he's earned the right to taunt. I think the Bronson... Who are you cheering for here? Are you a Bronson fan or something, or what? I'm a fan of anyone who goes out and professionally goes out there and gives it their all and doesn't... But they got to get the job done. And that's what Situation's doing. He's doing what it takes to get the job done. Well, I don't know about that. He's about to start flying again. Well, here we go again. There goes another thousand. Miles right there. And Bronson picking him back up. What's this? Oh my god, he's in the air again. Uh, he's gonna get counted out here. Oh my god. Someone better get in the ring or there'll be no winner. And Bronson being put down at that point. Bronson picking up situation, throwing him back in the ring where the counts matter. Well, it finally gets in. This match resumes. The situation looks like he was playing a little possum, maybe to get back up as soon as Bronson gets up. Oh nice knee right there. Oh wait, is he going for the situation again? He's calling thumbs down. Oh, boom. Nice suplex to a neck breaker right there. Is this, this it? Two. No. Bronson does it again. Man, Bronson is really proving something to me here. 
I mean, he's proven he doesn't have to use underhanded tactics to win a match. That's what he's proven to me here. Hey, sometimes underhanded tactic tactics win matches. Well, let's just hope it's not one of those nights. But look at this. He's going for that pump handle we saw earlier, folks. Is it going to connect? It does connect. Oh, my goodness. Think about the pump handle. And now, situation. He's not going for a cover. What's he doing here? He's taunting, which is... I mean, you've got a man like him. You better put him away. Instead of messing no up. way! What is he doing? Bronson! Look at Bronson that. Tesla's power oh slam. God. Wow. Come on. He just hit Bronson with his own finisher. Not this way. He looks the bad Dude. leg and everything. No! Bronson's able to kick out. Man, I don't know how much Bronson has left in this gas tank here. It's on E. It's, it's, he's on fumes. He's got to be on fumes. And situation backing up into the corner thinking, what do I have to do to win this matchup? And now Bronson hooking the neck here. He's okay. got a neck crank. A little bit of a rest point here for Bronson trying to regroup here, get his marbles back together. Definitely. And he's trying to wear down the situation at this point. Oh, oh headbutt right to the back. Situation don't have any of that. Oh, oh drop kick wow. into the corner. Bronson's Ragi. Situation coming off the ropes. Oh, big shoulder block. Starting to see look, little signs of life here in Bronson. And situation, I don't know what he's doing there. Is he just messing around or he Fire him. He needs to cover. I don't know. He's getting too much sun in his brain. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing in the corner? What's he, hey, that turnbuckle's off. That turnbuckle's loose. What is he doing? Hey, turnbuckle. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, oh right in the God. chest there. Chest first right there. And now he's waiting for him to get up to his feet. Nice underhanded tactic by the situation. I don't think nice and underhanded tactics should be in the exact sentence. Well, I think so. You do what you got to do to win. And now these guys are just going back and forth. Oh, ref's down. Ref's down. Bronson going for a clothesline. Crescent kick. And now what, what's, he, what's he doing here? Situation grabbing the chair. More underhanded tactics. He's got a steel chair here. Come on. The referee's down. He doesn't see it going Batter up. up. Oh, my nice. God. Right to the back. You echoed through the arena. Echoed. Going for the cover. Here we go. Is no, this not this way. Not this way. Yes. One. Two. Two. Kick out, Bronson. Kick out. Oh, come on. Nice win for the situation. He does what he has to do to win. I'm impressed. I, I am nowhere near impressed is the last word that I'm thinking of in my mind at this point. He hit Bronson with a low blow at least three times. That was a convincing up. victory to me. <laughs> Come on, situation. I, I can't get behind this guy. I can't. I can. I like him. I want to hang out with him. I want to party with him. I'm sure he's up way past the midnight hour. Situation comes out here, waxes his chest before a matchup, puts on this facade. Impressive. The facade, I, just, I love it. He's, look at him. He wears his sunglasses at night. He wears his watch in the ring. I'm very impressed with this situation. Definitely not for me, but we got to cut backstage here, folks. How's a girl like you end up with the jerk of the year? You're way too good for him. Well, maybe someone should do something about it. Babe, you... What the heck is this? Babe? No, don't you babe me. Who's this poser, huh? Better watch it. Just who do you think you are? The last chapter of your life story. Now stay away from my girl before I close the book and make your worst nightmare a reality. Wendell. Don't you dare call me that. Just what the hell was that all about, eh? You think he's better than me or something? No! Please! Don't give me that! This next one is on your hands! Oh, from behind! Come on, there's no need for this! He wasn't even big! That's the cheap shot by the situation! Look at situation go! What's he is he? out to make- no! Oh my god, right to the, the, the car window! There- what in the heck was that all about? Wow, situation! Getting it done again and do not mess with my woman! Hello, I'm Alice Ransom and I'm here backstage with Sean Lockhart at the VWF. Sean, what's your take on what happened to John Doe earlier in his match with Vane? Well, while I respect Vane as a competitor, his actions outside of the ring do not show the actions of a professional. And you have a match coming up against Angel De La Morte. What can we expect to see out of you tonight in that match? Angel is a well-conditioned athlete, there is no doubt about it, but at the end of the night, I will be walking away with my hand raised. And is there anything that you would like to say to the VWF world here live on Twitch TV? I'm Sean Lockhart from Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm here in VWF for one reason, gold. Big words there from Sean Lockhart as he makes his way out here to the ring. Yeah.
This contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Omaha, Nebraska, weighing 256 pounds, Sean Lockhart. He just go home, but at the, then he comes out here and just attacks Darby Crash for no reason from behind. He's talking to his woman. You're having a conversation with somebody. Does somebody just attack you from behind for talking to a female? Yeah, well, I'd, take, I'd be like, hey, you know, you're hitting on my woman. I mean, I, you do what you gotta do. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, it's a law of attraction. Anyway, anyway, folks, we gotta get back to this matchup. Sean Lockhart in the ring, and here comes his opponent. And his opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing 238 pounds, Angel. De La Morte! Angel De La Morte coming out here to the ring, folks. Going one-on-one -on -one against Sean Lockhart. Angel of death, everyone. Exactly. Angel of death. If you're not familiar with the Hispanic way of speaking of Spanish, it is Angel of Death is what Angel De La Morte stands for, and he is looking to do the point here tonight yeah. in beating Sean Lockhart. I mean, I'm staying away from him. He ain't gonna put no death on me. Hey, look, he's about to put death on, on Lockhart here. Well, like we said, we saw Sean earlier during the matchup. John Doe, is his, his alleged new friend, didn't do all that great. Let's see if Sean can do something different here. Uh, I, I'm a little bit more impressed with Lockhart here. He seemed really firm with his words and everything. But, I mean, he's wrestling a different beast here. And, wow, nice Hurricane Rana by Angel De La Morte. And now look at these. Oh, nice combination. Ending with that elbow shot by Sean Lockhart. Hooking the leg. Capturing with a suplex. Very nice looking suplex right there. It looks like we're going to see a very fast paced match here. Air traffic control uh, needs to be alerted of this. Exactly. And now you see Sean bouncing off the ropes here. Going for Oh, unable to connect with whatever I can assume is a shoulder block. But gets taken down with an arm drag. You saw that last match. Saw a lot of flyer flying stuff happen. What about this match right here? Yeah, you know, Angel De La Morte is definitely going to have that high-flying ability, but you got to admit, Sean's got to try to ground him. I mean, that's that's the way I see him winning this matchup. He's definitely got to ground his opponent. I don't see Sean going to the top rope and doing all these crazy high-flying maneuvers, but I do see him trying to ground Angel. Angel's got to keep it fast-paced. Well, of course, and he's got to make, stay, make sure that he doesn't touch the ground. Exactly. He's got to be like off his now. feet all the time and just dazzle Lockhart with everything he can. Yeah, but Lockhart doing a very good job of grounding him right here. Just hooking that arm behind him and going for that camel clutch maneuver. And that is a lot of pain on the small of the back. And Angel's got to get up and do something soon before it lights out. Yeah, and Angel able to counter. And now he's grabbing Sean. Arm hook that now. What's this? Flipping over. Neckbreaker. Nice. Nice little twirly dance there. And now look at the kicks. He still can't dance as good as me, though. Oh, I can imagine. And now look at this, you dancing with the situation in the clubs all night. I can just imagine how you guys get down. Now we get down, like like it's in Chinatown. And now, as you can see, situation... Why don't you go out? You stay home all the time with your wife, and she, like, beats on you. Well, don't don't worry about my personal life at this point. All we need to worry about is that Sean Lockhart is going out, and he's winning this match. And there's a nice elbow right in the corner. And look at... Oh, nice elbow returned right there. And you leave my wife out of this. And you know what? I just call it like a suit, man. And I'm calling to how I see it right now is Sean Lockhart looks to be in a little bit of trouble. Angel from behind. Oh, nice counter. Sean captured him under Ooh. with the belly to belly. Nice belly to belly by Lockhart here. And Lockhart just now taking it to Angel de la Morte. Uh, he's going to be Angel of... Here really soon. <laughs> and now look at this. Up in the air. Sean, what is this? Brain buster. And oh my... God, look at the impact there. And here is the count. That's got to be it. Early one, two. two. Oh, no, sir. Only two. And he's able to kick out, and now he throws him off over there. Oh, big knee. Angel going right face first. That stopped him right in his tracks right there. And I talked to Sean backstage a little bit earlier. He called his finishing move the open heart surgery. Here is. Oh, oh wow. And you can see just grabbing the chest. It drives all the air out of your body. Open heart surgery. No. Unable to get the counter there. His finishing maneuver not what he was able to connect with. And now look at this. That was a failure. That was open heart surgery. Oh my God. He's going for the death sentence. I heard about this moving. Tijuana. Ooh. Yeah, I've many have fell to prey to this, and looks Whoa. like uh, Lockhart might be one. No. Lockhart able to kick out before the two count. Nicely attitude right there. And now look at this. Goes for a punch. And now they're collar and elbow tying up right in the middle of the ring. Jockeying for position right here, and it looks like. Lockhart has got the best of the situation right here. 
Exactly. And now look at this. Not to be confused with the situation. Well, anyway, this oh. situation is a pinfall. Here's the count. One, two. two. Oh, oh, that was close. I thought that was going to be it right there. I thought Lockhart was going to be surprised there by Angel. What's he going for? It throws him off. That was as close as you could get. Oh, but Angel able to duck out the way here. Uh, we're going outside, ladies and gentlemen. Coming out here by us. Look at this big uppercut right there by Angel. And now look at this. What's he going for? They need to keep it in the ring. Oh, suplex right here to the outside of the ring. Referee already Man, counting. I tell you, what's Lockhart doing? Just get it in the ring. Keep it in the ring. It's the only way you can win this match. And now Angel being thrown over with an arm drag. Yeah, the, the, you don't pin or submit out here, folks. You definitely do it inside the ring. What? I don't. Once again, it's all you know. It's a first episode tonight. All these superstars are out to make a statement. They want to shine. They want to stand out. I don't blame any of these guys for going the extra mile tonight. Well, here comes. What's he going for? Another suplex, perhaps? Wait, no, he's holding me here. It might be that brainbuster again. Oh my god! Mm, on that cold, hard, unforgiving floor here in the arena. And now Sean waiting for him to get up. May I have another? <laughs> he, Whoa! He throws him right there. Referee. Say hello to the table. Referee just got up to the count of an eight. You got to uh, get back in the ring. And he breaks the count. It goes back outside. Oh, what's this? Wait! Oh my God! Coast to coast right there. Through our table here in front of us. There is no. He might want to change his name from the Angel of Death to the Angel who just got killed. This is ridiculous. He lost his wings. There is no... <laughs> he lost his wings. That's, that's how I got to say it. And he, he got up. Oh, wow. Well, I think Angel... He might actually like this paint. Superhuman right there, almost. Say. And now Angel coming back into the ring here. Sean... I wonder they call him Angel of Death. He gets right up. Exactly. And how he's just bringing it. He, he tells Sean to bring it on. Sean picking up the intensity with another suplex. That's got to be about the fourth one I've seen already. His brains are scrambled eggs right now. I bet you. If he even has any brains. And now look at this. Sean delivering the punches right to the side of the head once again. Now I gotta ask you here, partner, as far as impressive here tonight, who's gotta be on that top radar here? As far as the mismatch goes or the night in general? I would have to say a little bit of both. Hey, I really like the situation. Situation really. Is. No surprise there. No surprise there for the situation. <laughs> and this angel doesn't even impress me one bit. I mean, I think Skeletor called and wanted his face back. Well, I mean, you try getting up after getting put through an announcer table right here in front of us. Uh, you know, I've been there before. <laughs> I'm sure you have. And now look at Big Elbow right there by Sean Lockhart. And Sean just stomping him right there, just getting at the knee. Wait, is he going to go for another Brain Buster? This is going to be the third one of the night. In Suplex City tonight. Jeez, right on the back of the head. Here on the Virtual Wrestling Federation. Exactly, repping the VWF. Like we said, folks, you can check out more about these characters by going to the VWF.com. Is that open heart surgery again? Another open heart surgery. Here is the counter. Is it success or failure? It's another failure, man. I, I, well, these guys are pushing it to the limit here. Angel kicking Everyone out of, is. Kicking out of two of them. And now... All bets are off tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly, folks. If you were betting on the outcome of this... I got some disappointing news for you. You're going to be here for a minute. It'll be an interesting talk at the water cooler tomorrow. Exactly. And now look at this. Angel getting right back up. Oh, oh. my God. What a knee. It looked like a variation of the Shining Wizard. And here is the count. That's got to be it. One, two. Oh, oh. Sean able to kick out again. Showing the resistance. This match is kind of a toss up here. Oh, Angel going for another one. Another death sentence. Oh, here we go. Hey. Oh, there we go. And now he gets it. That's two finishers each. Here's the count on Sean. One. Oh, oh he man. got out on parole, ladies and gentlemen. Got out on parole. <laughs> no are, death sentence for you, Lockhart. Are you kidding me right now? This is Sean. What's, wait, wait. That's the turnbuckle pad. We saw this earlier today. Man, everyone loves that turnbuckle pad. And now he throws him. Oh, my God. Head first right into that steel turnbuckle well, pad. A night full of underhanded tactics tonight. I was all with Sean until that whole aspect happened. You just don't like anyone that has to do what they got to do to win, do you? I don't like anyone who goes about things in an unprofessional manner. That's oh, not too much to ask. Cry me a river. Cry me a river. I don't think that's too much to ask to have to go out there and give it your You've all. You've never performed anything in your life, have you? You've never had to compete, have you? I've had to compete, but at the same time, I don't have to use underhanded tactics to win a match. And now look at this. Beautiful athleticism there by Angel. He didn't get caught, so he's fine. He's in the clear. Oh, not cheating if you don't get caught. One, one, two, two, three. 
Oh, oh and Sean ends up winning the match here against Angel De La Morte. That was on the skin of his teeth, pretty much. Yeah, I don't think uh, Angel was prepared for that kind of athleticism coming out of Sean. I tell you what, though, Angel De La Morte really impressed me tonight, though, in this losing effort. Yeah, I think minus the turnbuckle issue, I'm pretty impressed with Sean. It takes a lot to impress me. A lot. And I've been around wrestling for a while. Says the man impressed by about three low blows tonight and then an underhanded attack from behind that put somebody through a Oh, you just say that because you've never cheated in your life. That's not a problem, and I'm very happy with my moral stability. But as you can see right now, there's the respect oh, issue. Make me sick. That's what I'm talking about. The respect issue of Sean. I'm oh, back on the Sean You could have waffled right. him. Come on. And now you can see just Sean. We're on a grand stage here, and they shake hands. What's wrong with that? The that's using sportsmanship and professionalism. Oh, sportsmanship is overrated. Hello, Alice Ransom again, and I'm here backstage at the VWF with the tag team of B-Wall and KJ Creed, 708 Scream at Me. Now guys, you are up next in tag team action as the main event of the evening. What can the Twitch TV world expect to see? Son, we about to issue an open challenge to anybody who's finna be up in that ring, son. You know what I'm saying? We gonna take them out. It's gonna be blood. It's gonna be anything we feel like, you know what I'm saying? And you know, speaking of which, baby girl, you know you sitting right here. You looking mighty fine yourself right now. But you know what I'm saying? We gotta get back to business. Back to business. It's going down tonight. We got three kids and no money. Why is it okay for Big to sell drugs for his daughter, but I can't rob a baby's RS without people flipping shit? Well, folks, getting back to the action. What's her digits, man? I need her number. The following contest is your main event of the evening, and it's going to be contested under Chicago Street Fright Rules. Let's introduce our participants. Introducing first, from the dugouts of Wrigley Field, at a combined weight of 447 pounds, BJ and DJ Harris, the B Plus player. BJ Harris and BJ Harris, the B plus play. Big one's coming out of 708 screen at me here, though. I'm impressed with these guys. They're from the cold, mean streets of Chicago. And anyone from Chicago has got my, got my vote. Well, we got BJ Harris and BJ Harris, the B plus players going against 708 screen. There was a lot of threats, though, in that little promo they just did in the back being their interview. 708, mainly B Wall. B Wall, the shorter stature one that we talked about earlier. B Wall is. I'm a little frightened for any opponent that has to get in the ring with that guy. As you can see him right here on the screen. Look at these guys. They come in and they take over this entire arena here. And their opponents from the cold streets of Chicago at a combined weight of 587 pounds. B-Wall and KJ Creed. 708. Scream at me. What a beast. And look at that dancing moves. They, they, they got the whole package here, Anthony. Speaking of beast at this point, Mike, we just talked about his finishing move, KJ Creed, the large gentleman. His finisher is actually called Beast Mode. Beast Mode, oh. And he'll go beast all over his opponents. And as you can see, them just juking and driving to the crowd. The crowd is getting behind it, so they might make a lot of threats at this point, but there's nothing wrong with threats. No, nothing. You gotta make a statement. I mean, you gotta. It's a nice intimidation factor to your to the opponent. And folks, we talked about it earlier, this match actually is a no disqualification elimination tag team match. My kind of match, man. All bets are off. Anything's legal. They can go anywhere. They can go all over the arena if they wanted to. Yeah, aptly known as a street fight here. They actually called it a Chicago Town street oh, fight. Wow. Oh, my. Samoan drop right off the get-go right here. Just knocking them down. Look at the punches right into this. The, front of the head hitting it right into the temple area and they challenged this tag team they said they want anybody to come out that ring at any given time whoever's in that ring at that time they're going to be in a chicago style street fight well they're representing the streets of chicago they got to do it proud and now as you can see throwing them right into the turnbuckle here but bj or dj i'm not sure which one is which at this point we got to figure out we got to figure out a scheme to figure out who's who here well right here on our paper it does say that bj harris and dj harris so as far as i'm concerned bj's in the ring right now dj tanner <laughs> and now look oh my god what a super this b wall like is elbow. really impressive right here just taking it to dj bj harris or whoever i i, I don't know and I I, baseball's boring <laughs> and at this point look that's at why this. they have to wrestle they're bored with baseball well, they look like they did just come out of the stadium. Yeah, they, they probably lost, too, <laughs> which looks like it's happening right now. Yeah, I don't think uh, BJ's throwing anything to go up against uh, yeah, B And There's no right offense now. right here. I mean, B-Wall is totally dominating. Uh, we'll say it's DJ in there just because of DJ Tanner. 
<laughs> well, nonetheless, here comes the big man, KJ Creed. Look at it. Oh, my. this guy. Everyone runs for the hills right here when this guy gets in the ring. Exactly. And now look at this, just throwing out these crazy punches. Wait, look at this, DJ. A little offense here, finally. Oh, we thought it was some offense there, but oh my god. Towering big boot right there. Just sending them straight By KJ down right to the there. canvas. And folks, this is our main event of the night. We hope that you've enjoyed all the action thus far coming out of the Virtual Wrestling Federation. Like we said, giving a shout out. Definitely, I hope you enjoyed the music provided to you guys by the premiere. Check out their album, their latest Big ups one. to them. Big ups, big time. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, if you're a fan of music, if you're a fair fan of local Arizona talent, definitely check out the premiere. Go to our website at vvwf.com. You'll see an icon on our homepage labeled as the PRMR, changing their label and their moniker. And, oh, my God, I'm sorry, but we got to get back to this action. Look at the power. I thought it was one. There are two. Oh. We're going to go for a hat trick here. Looks like a hat trick. And oh three. Oh, my God. Third time's the charm, baby. There is no way that guy's going to be living at this point. Oh, I'm surprised he's still up right now. What's up with b while knocking his brother off the apron? There's no eliminations yet, but, oh, here we go. Super. I can't believe he picked him up. Well, That's we got to go. be 300-plus pounds. That's got to be the heart right there. And now you can see a comeback. He's got to get out of there. Yeah, well, he's smart. He tagged. And that's what the key to beating this team is, is tags in and out, frequent. Oh, my God. But I think it might be both men might need to be in that ring at one point to take care of KJ. Yeah, I think so. It's But tags and keeping him away from his tag team partner, B-Wall, would be the, the key to success here. And exactly. B-Wall comes in, delivers a nice lunging body shot right to the rib cage, and now just working on the head, just smashing his brother into the cam just like we saw him do to DJ earlier and then look at him look like a bunch of rag dolls right here pretty much with a 708 scream at me or doing to who are these guys again I the, mean the B plus players we talked about them a little bit more like D minus <laughs> I, I I mean I I don't give them an F because they're at least they're trying a little bit but still I'm gosh dang well I mean at the same time I wouldn't want to be caught in the Chicago style street fight hey they signed up for this you know what they're they're dumb enough to do it you know now B Wall just delivering. The guy get in there with them? No. I would never be caught uh, dead uh, anywhere. No, no. We'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe we can get you in there. No, I'm okay. I think I'm. I ain't gonna safe. be your partner though. No. I, <laughs> I'm your partner here, but not in the ring. Well, anyway, at this point in the match, we talked about B Wall. This stands for a brick wall because he feels that nobody can go past him. And yeah, he, yeah. I definitely. mean, it, he's definitely showing that at this point. Wait, what? Oh my God, he has him hooked here. What in the world is he going? Oh my. God. A variation of an overdriver of some sort right there. We got to get back so and figure out what that's called. Oh, Come spear on. outside the ring. KJ delivering his beast mode like maneuver straight to, I want to call that DJ outside right now. I think BJ's being in the ring getting attacked. Oh, wait. Oh, he's got a steel chair. This is what we're talking about. The Chicago Well, anything Street goes Park. right here. Oh, oh my God. He just crowned him right there, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. And, oh, and he ain't no king. Oh, my God. What is he doing? He's, he's looking to take him out permanently. Oh, my God, right on the head. Oh, we do have Abulence standing by. They just came back from what vein did the jo John Doe or Joe Doe or whatever it was. I don't think we need to know about him anymore. And now look at this. Oh, BJ. B oh, my God. B look, at you don't even care about anyone. You don't care about that poor guy that got beat up in the beginning of the show. And you don't care about Bronson who got screwed over or Darby who got his head put through a car window. Where's the sympathy there? I'm, I'm trying to do my job here. <laughs> I'm a broadcast journalist here. Cut me some slack cut you some slack at this point i'd be perfectly fine with cutting you a little bit of something else but b-wall he's up right now what is he doing hey, here we go we got the chair there. but what's he doing he drops the chair that's the dumbest move i've ever seen on this show it already mean, it is a street fight you almost as dumb really as that haircut you have don't worry about oh, it's, it's similar to what, B, what we got right here with b-wall are you gonna rip on his haircut too no his haircut's cool well, anyway, look at this. We're talking about hairstyle. Oh, my God. Head first. He didn't even need the chair, but you know what? More power to him for that. And I can't believe this guy's even getting up. I think the only reason he was getting up is because B-Wall supporting him by picking him up in the first place. And look at the brother trying to help out his brother. Oh, come on. Wow. Look at that. They're just pummeling them. These this is a ridiculous. C-minus players. The a not even B. Oh. oh, my God. His head's busted open. He just Look busted over. You can see the blood on the chair, folks. And you got that, that blood is like shark. Yeah, I mean, it's like blood to a shark right there. And you can see it just dripping all over the mat here at the VWF. Throws him back first into that turnbuckle. 
and KJ just approving of this beating as he should. He is his tag team partner. Very impressive outing here for oh the 708 scream at me. God, what a Very flying impressive. maneuver. And I was waiting for him to get up to his feet. And it looks like we could see a first elimination right here. Possibly, like we said, folks, the rules for this matchup is elimination, no disqualification. Cover and right here. One, two. two. Oh. No, he's gone. He tried saving him. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. He is gone. Now it's a handicap match, and I feel real sorry for, for BJ or DJ, whoever's left there. Oh, my God. Back burn right on that steel chair. And here we go. He might be able to pull it off here at this point. Man, that guy's the dumbest guy alive right now. He keeps on fighting in the ring. I'd just run. I'd run for the hills. Well, that's you because you're behind people like the situation. It just goes uh, you know what? Does Hey, that's my personal business. You stay out of it, my bud. You stay out of my personal business with my wife at this point. You're bringing up all this other craziness, and now we got... That's my job. I you're, snoop. You're <laughs> at the same time, we got B-Wall coming up here. What is this? Oh, my God. Charles Whoa! Oh, my goodness. Bringing him back. That's the coolest thing I've seen all night. Oh, my good. Oh, and just tossing him right over the top. And now it is time for KJ to go at it. KJ just dominating his opponent. What is this? More power. Wow. Razor Moan called right there. And now look at, I mean, I cannot believe this. He, he is still fighting. Look at this. He's wow. Hard. This guy, this kid's got some intestinal fortitude here. He is fighting. You know what? I got to give this B plus player some credit here. Well, at least he's moved back up to B plus with you. Yeah, barely. <laughs> here in a second, he'll go down to F. But he is F plus player. He's proving a point right here. He's, he's going one. On, he's going one on two in a Chicago style street fight against the Chicago natives. Seven oh eight screaming at me, and he's looking pretty freaking good right now. We're taking out KJ. Oh, never mind. At least it ain't snowing. It'd be a different story if it was snowing. True, true. And now look at this. You ever fought in snow? No, you haven't fought a fight in your life. A fight in your life. Why you always gotta come back at me with this? I'm just trying to call the action and trying to do my job. And now here's the count one. Oh, but he's able to kick out. I just like people who actually perform professionally and are good. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, my God. Look, talk that was out of desperation. But no, he came back and said, hey, I'm, you're staying down, kid. And now KJ on the outside. I don't think that's where he wants to be. No, he does not want to be outside the ring. He's definitely got to get him back inside the ring. And now look at this. Oh, my God. Elbow I'm surprised right B-Wall is not coming to the rescue of his partner here. Maybe that's just the trust he has. I mean, if I were going to send somebody into a fight and have KJ Creed against this smaller gentleman, I would definitely be perfectly fine with letting him fend for himself. What is this? Oh, oh right on the chair. Jeez. His bell got rang, pretty much. I mean, his brother has been busted open and eliminated. He's fighting this in the handicap match, and he's he's putting on some type of a show. It, it's It's... It's at this point anyone's game between KJ and I want to say BJ Harris. Well, at least he isn't the weakest link of, of the team here. He is definitely trying to prove a point, trying to fight for him and his brother's honor at this point. Trying This is the first ever main event of the VWF. Nice neck breaker there. People are going to remember this show for a time to come. They're going to tell their grandkids about this. Exactly, folks. And like we said, folks, if you're just signing on and you missed any of the action, we'll be uploading it right to our website at thevwf.com and you can always check it out delivering it there and you can see b-wall definitely trying to get involved in this matchup now apparently he just sees that his partner isn't doing as good as he thought well 708 scream at me are definitely in the driver's seat of this match and beast mode is not looking too beasty right now exactly i mean it is they have the numbers game advantage but at the same time looks more like a bunny rabbit right now <laughs> but at the same time folks we talked about it earlier. We do stream live on Twitch TV twice a day to help you out as far as time zone is concerned and everything is like that. But at the same time, check it out on VWF.com. Definitely follow us on Twitter at VWF. Ed. All the links are in the description below. And just check out check it out always on VWF, bringing the best action that you can get out of any web series here on Twitch TV. Representing, ladies and gentlemen, we are. And as you can see, I think I think that might have been it. KJ might have had to tab out, but B Wall able to come in there and break it up. Wow, I am actually surprised that it even happened. 
we went through all those shameless plugs and missed something right there. Exactly. And now look at this big elbow shot. We did. We definitely weren't able to catch all the action here that we just talked about. We wanted to definitely let you guys know about the show and everything. Is the entire crowd is getting behind this young kid right here. Exactly. They're all about the underdogs. They're all about trying to come back from adversity. That's what a lot of this crowd had to deal with. He just delivered a neck break in the steel chair. And now look at this. Look at this. Look at the selflessness. Oh my God. His head might have just hit into the back of the steel steps. Oh my God. Oh wow. Breaker. And why? Wow. Uh, I guess he wasn't eliminated. And now look at this. B Wall able to break it up for his partner. And now B Wall interrupting. This is a bad situation. Oh my God. What is this? He's got him up top. Power bomb. Power bomb. Oh my goodness. This is a ridiculous. I'm just surprised he's able to stick with it this much, but this is definitely the beginning of the, the end. They are dissecting him piece by piece. Look at this. Throwing him back into the ring here, folks. But like we said, you can win anyway in this matchup. Outside is perfectly fine. I guess he just wants to deliver more punishment on a stage where everybody can clearly see the action. Yeah, absolutely. They are showing everyone out, out in the arena and all over Twist TV what 708 Scream at Me is all about. And now look at this. He has him here. He's got him locked in a submission hole. He's got him locked in a submission. I don't know how much longer this guy's going to go. I just don't know how long DJ's going to go. Well, you definitely know he's the heart of the whole faction. Uh, absolutely. Heart of this team. And he's still going. Is definitely. I'm impressed with this kid. I really am. And now he comes back outside the ring. Definitely not where he needs to be. Wait, what's this? He's lighting him up. Beast oh. mode. Beast mode. Oh, my God. On the outside. He just beasted him right out of this arena almost. Oh my god, he has him up here, up top. What is he going for? Oh, oh my god. Ow, that hurt. Dude. I think the chair hit me on the knee there. The table? What? Ow. B-Wall. B-Wall's still up. B oh my god. Jeez. You're acting all calm through all this. Well, at the same time, I'm just too drawn back by the action to see what's going on. In I'm front in of pain me. here. I think I need an EMT. Oh, go cry to the situation about it. Will you stop talking about the situation? At the same time. I think you want to be his friend. I, do, I definitely, that's the last thing I want to be. I want to go to a hospital and check out how Darby Crash is doing. We'll get back to the more on the Darby Crash we'll situation. send him some flowers. You can't, you can't just do that kind of stuff. Look at this. Oh, my God, he's back in the ring. Oh, we thought he was going to be able to make a comfort. Wait, look at this. Able to reverse uh, it. My knee still hurts here. I'm not doing anything more until my knee gets checked out here. Arm hooked. Arm hooked. Oh, unable to get out. No, stop crying about your knee. Just get back to more of the action here. We got to give the fans what they want. And now, from behind, oh, back right And here. all this madness here. I don't know how this guy's even still standing. I can barely stand. B-Wall trying to interfere. Good drop kick for his troubles here. I mean, geez Louise, this match has just gotten completely out of control. But that's what you can expect from a Chicago Street Fighter. And the action every week here on Twitch TV. Exactly. Twitch TV, we're very happy to bring you this kind of an action. And now he has him hooked, grabbing him by the back of the hair. Tornado DDT, very nicely done. Just exploding out of the corner with that tornado DDT. Here's the count. One, two, three. It's all. He got him. He just eliminated him. That was a fluke. I cannot believe what just happened there. Fluke or not, we are down to one on one. I can't believe this. I, I, I'm still in shock over this. He might be able to pull it off here, but B-Wall jumped just, right on the attack. He just eliminated a stone-cold killer right there. Stone-cold killer. And now B-Wall, he's got to be steaming. His partner just got eliminated. That's embarrassing. I mean, look at these guys. Oh, but now he's got the steel steps. He's looking to take it up another notch. He's taking it personal. This gets this got personal here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's... Russian leg sweep right there. Aptly known, and now look at this. He's picking up the steel steps. What is he doing here? And this Chicago street fight has been one of the craziest things I've oh seen. Oh, my God. Still stepped right into the corner. Right on the head. And he just drops him right on top He's of him. He's just messing up that face. Looks like equivalent of hamburger. My gosh. And I don't think... I think now he'll be able to tell the twins apart because they both have gotten hit in the face and bloodied up. And one's gotten probably a disformed... Oh, my. Now the other one's busted open. He's going to have to wear a mask. Jeez. Now he really won't be able to tell these twins apart. It's going to be tough. Like I said, I think the EMTs are going to have a really tough time distinguishing who is who. Exactly. I mean, you got John Doe in the hospital. Darby's been taken to a hospital. And now you got both of the B-plus players split open. There's is this even a safe working environment? I mean, already first episode in, I already got a bunk knee. What this? Oh, my God. What's he doing? What's he doing? Up Going up top. top. Boom! Oh, my 
God. That's a career-ending situation right there. And now he's waiting for him to get up. Blood just dripping down his pants and dripping all over the arena. Throws him off. I thought it'd be over. Oh, big elbow shot. This uh, guy's out for blood. He is out for blood. He's out for glory, too. I mean, he's out for revenge because his brother was taken out by a fluke. And now to see this happen, I don't know how this guy's barely even still standing. Exactly. We have our main event, first ever main event of the VWF. Hope you guys are back here live for episode two on next Saturday. Always airing it at the exact same time. And what is this? Powerball. I am just very impressed here with all the action tonight in the Virtual Wrestling Federation. You can, you are where the action is at, and I will say that over and over until I'm blue in the face. Oh, my God. Well, this this guy's back might be blue at this point. He's been powerbombed. Oh, yeah, it reflects the, the color of his shirt right there. I think that's why we can't be able to tell how he actually is bruised. Yeah. And now look at this. Up to the top rope again. We won't be playing any baseball anytime soon. Oh, my God, kick. And he is right out to the floor. He just went back outside the ring here. Falls count anywhere, pretty much. You go all over the place. They threw out the rule book here. Exactly. And now look at this. He has him hooked. Throws him oh. right here. Oh, head first right into the steel turnbuckle. Cold, unforgiving steel. That ring the post, post right there. That ring post is definitely not forgiving at all. And now, oh, wait, he's coming Yeah, back. we got a little bit of life here by, by BJ here. Yeah, BJ versus Buell, and he's saying get in the ring. He is ready to fight. He, he wants right more. Right now. How could you want more from taking a beat down? This guy is bloody. He is in the ring saying bring it on. Oh, but look at the taking the short. You got to admire the heart of this fighter. You really got to admire the heart. They are fighting for their lives right here. And look at this. BJ flipping him right over. Oh, come on. Oh, blow. But it's all legal. It's all legal. You can't say anything about that. And now BJ. Get off tossed. your soapbox. b wall gets tossed. And now there is b wall once again leaving the room here. Goes up. I don't know how much longer these two can go. I mean, the stamina alone is just amazing oh. by these two competitors. Guillotine leg drop delivered. b wall ordered to the top rope. Elbow drop. Here's the count. That's got to be it. This One, has got to be over. Two. two. Oh. No. Wow. What a main event here, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to start off things. Exactly, and now look at this. He's tossing outside the ring saying, you have no business in the ring with me in my hometown I style of a match. I think he's got business because he's hanging in there. A normal competitor would have been long gone by now. Exactly, you got to think about it. His brother was eliminated over about 10 minutes ago. We had a handicap match for the better of seven minutes, and now he is going one-on-one -on -one with b -ball. What's he got there? He's got the ring bell, I believe. He's got the is. ring bell. We can't call the end of this match up. This oh, wait, what's this? He has him. Oh, oh right in there abdomen right there oh, oh, right the back, back of, the of the neck chiropractic city for this young man right here exactly we may have a couple of people in the chiropractor after this match oh, definitely this expense report's oh, going to be off the charts god head first again and now he's just destroying them with that when you sign that contract i mean you put your life on the line pretty much especially if you're having to deal with a chicago style street fight in your first match here in the vwf absolutely there will be blood oh but and there has been tonight and a lot of it yeah. And he returns the favor right there with that head going right first into that steel ring post. And, and the crowd is hot, man. The crowd is excited. Exa I'm excited for this match. I want to see who wins this thing. It'll be a huge underdog story if we have BJ end up winning this matchup. And it happen. could happen. Anything could happen here. Anything. Exactly. And now look at this. He tossed. That's it. why you can't miss an episode. Every week, something new and exciting is going to happen. Full surprises. Exactly. Now look at this. He throws him up on the top. Bro, what's he going for here? Oh my God. The stairs. The stairs. Oh my God. Back first on the stairway to hell right there. Oh, this is the second time. This guy's back is broken. There's this ticket was punched a long time ago. Why didn't he just go for the cover? He still wants to prove a point. He took out his brother. So you know what? I'm going to get revenge on you. I mean, those words they said early in the locker room, they didn't mess around. Oh, but he's coming back. He's coming back. He trips him. He picks the leg and now he's just grabbing him. Grabbing him with that ankle. And if he takes out a leg, that could be a way, a ticket to, to pull in an upset here. And look at this. Oh, big elbow shot right there. One way to take, take out a good table. And another headbutt. Blood pouring out of this man's room. It's going by the gallon around here. And now what's he waiting for? Rubber legs right here. Oh, wait, no. No. He finds something. He digs deep and is able to pull off this stop. He needs to go for a cover. Here he goes. Hooks the leg. One. On one count, he still has it in him. B-Wall is really just a machine here, ladies and gentlemen. 
Exactly, and now B-Wall just delivering these punches right to the head, right to the open wound. Oh my God. He targeted that blow. I mean, I wouldn't want to miss anything if it's going to be like this every week. And now look at this. Oh! oh. Samoan drop. Forearm right there, and B Wall is just taking it to BJ right here. And this could be the end for BJ right here in the B minus B plus players. On. Look at this one, two. Oh, but he. Two, two. two. Barely got out of that one. Barely, just barely got out of the match right there. And this is just going. I, I don't know how much longer these two could go. I just. I, I don't know. I mean, how can these guys recover from a match like this? Is beyond me. Exactly. The I'm recovery time is going to be amazing. I'm almost out of energy calling this matchup myself. I can imagine what kind of yeah, agony I'm, and pain they've been going through this tonight. Can you imagine their pain and the pain that they're in and the pain that I'm in right now. Stop, stop with the leg. Stop with the leg. We got to call it. It's a knee, bud. It's it's part of the leg, is it not? Oh, whatever. It's my knee. And now look at this. B Wall throwing my side. What does he got to do to win this matchup? Like B Wall turning face to face at this point. What is he going for outside? What yeah, is this? This could be. He's got the arm hook. Oh, my God. Right on the apron right there. Are you kidding me? That's got to be Good one, night. Two. Oh, that's Good night, BJ. Good. Sweet songs right there for you, bud. Oh, my God. What a match. What a knockout, drag out affair that battle was. Exactly. I definitely, I, I'm not opposed to seeing a rematch here between B-Wall going one against, one against BJ Harris in its entirety. That was an amazing matchup. I also, I definitely see a battle between those two in the future. Definitely. I don't think this match is over by any means. I don't think no, this rivalry is going to be over. It's just a battle. The war is far from over here between these two teams. Exactly, folks. But I hope you enjoyed Twitch TV. I hope you guys enjoyed us being out here at the Virtual Wrestling Center. Let's take another look at what happened here. And we hope to see you guys next week. Absolutely. This drink is not on me. Yeah, folks. I mean... We talked about it going back and forth. Check us out, vvwf.com. Follow us on Twitter. Go to our website. Get everything you need to know as far as the web, as far as the music, the premiere. Check it all out, folks. Check it all out. You're not going to regret it. You are where the action is at. And I'm looking forward to next week. Are you excited, partner? I'm very pumped up. Let's get this show on the road. Looks like the little man has some moves. I'm impressed. Says the almighty Bronson. And just how did your match go tonight? And the name's Lockhart. Sean Lockhart. Hey, I'm just busting your balls. You did great out there, kid. I think you'd be a good friend, but an even better opponent. Hey, what do I know? Good job tonight. Just wait till I get that gold. Speaking of gold, how about we enter that tag tournament next week? You know what? That might not be a bad idea. You got yourself a tag partner. Good deal. See you next week.